accusing each other and that is done with an intention of keeping the group up. So there are a few things which I'll start just so that we know. At 19, it was 5.1 only. Then $189.5 billion. Whereas when we finished in 19, again, sir, foreign exchange reserves, some members mentioned about it. I'd like to give the comparison. Foreign exchange reserves at period end of 2009-14 was $304.2 billion, whereas at the period end, 2014-19, it was $412.9 billion, which is 14-19 onwards, NDA 1, sir. I'll also refer to, at the period end, external debt to GDP ratio, which is a percentage ratio, at the end of UPA 2, that is 2019, 23.9% .9 was the external debt to GDP ratio. And government now facing a situation on which loans. And that's the cost we able to recap. Recognize for the problem of NPA that they have and consequences. Second, when we are able to bring them together, there is a better utilization of the savings which are otherwise lying dormant. Third, today we need banks in India which can scale up and meet up with the challenges of the day. And therefore we thought it was important. A lot of other matchmaking exercise happened where the technologies are compatible. Now, obviously, all this will be factored in when we talk about why then the GDP is growing, uh, uh, slowing down. I just want to say one thing, sir. Between 2014 and 19, the GDP accelerated 7.4% in 14-15, 8% in 15-16, 8.2% in 16-17, before the lag effort effect of the twin balance sheet set in. And as a result, private investment started suffering because the NPIs were still alive in the banks, they didn't have additional money to go on investing further. So the lag effect of declining investment caught on and therefore the GDP growth rate